Hey everybody, we're waiting on um, Ann to join us and we'll get started in just a second with this awesome line of Atrex. Some really pretty styles. They also have orthotics. Um, hey Ann. Let's see. You can join me and I'm gonna walk through the line a little bit while we're waiting on Anne to join us. Um, hey, hey Anne. Hi, finally. How are you? I'm good. Good. I hope you're, I hope you're doing well. We are, we are. We're, um, I have the door unlocked for delivery, so hopefully nobody walks in and surprises okay. us in the middle of this. But do you okay. want to introduce yourself and who you are and what your position is at Atrex? Sure. My name is Ann Zakreski. I have been with Atrex for seven and a half years, and I currently do the uh, foot scanning technology and foot orthotics. I did sell shoes from Atrex uh, about three of those seven and a half years. And of course, Valley Soul was one of my best customers. Um, they carry a ton of Atrex shoes and obviously all of your customers out there support Atrex, love the way it feels underfoot. So I don't know, I'm very new to Instagram, so I don't know if people can send in questions, but if they do, if they can, I'll be happy to answer them. I do have a couple of the for shoes. Sure. Okay, good. Um, I don't know how you want to do this, Julie, but I do have a couple of the shoes that you sent me, and I can just pick them up and talk about them if you would like at first, Fabulous. or do you want to have people trying on shoes? Nope. If you want to go ahead, that's wonderful. Okay. All right. So maybe if I do this, that should work. Yes. All right, this is our number one bestseller, the Jillian. I know that um, you have it probably in several colors, but the main thing that's very interesting about Atrex is the fact that the arch support is truly built in on every one of our shoes. All right, we put eight millimeters of memory foam cushioning underneath, so that's what makes it feel so good right from the moment you put it on. It has the Velcro or hook and loop closure, sorry, here we go, in the front. So you can adjust that based on your foot's width. And what's really nice about that is as we get to the summer months and our feet tend to swell a little bit because of humidity and so on, you can just open it up and adjust it if it feels too late or, excuse me, too tight later in the day. And there, Julie's going to put it on and show us exactly how it's done. So there you go. You've got the two adjustable straps. That one's really cute. I love that particular color combination, uh, the brown and the taupe together. And I think that's a suede-like material, if I'm not mistaken, that it Julie is. has on her foot. All right, so you can take a, take a look when she was showing you the inside of her foot as to how that arch support is in there. Of course, when Julie stands on it, you would see a better, better way on how that's going to support your foot as well as hers. And I know Julie has a very high arch, so look at how great that looks under there. There's no gap. <clears throat> yeah, crazy high arches. Yep, yep. And like I said, those adjustable straps will feel really good later on this summer when we're out running around and the humidity's really high and our feet get swollen and you're like, oh my God, my shoe's too tight. You can just open it up and continue doing what you're doing. Um, there are all the colors. Go ahead, Julie. The gun metal's really pretty with this bronze kind of accent. We've sold a lot of these for the event. Oh, and we should talk about the event too. So for every okay. Atrex that you buy from now until Saturday, you'll be registered to win two free pairs. So it's a really great way. Even if you just buy one, you'll be registered um, once to win two or three pairs, two or three entries, so that you have better chances of winning. And that's, that's just great because they've got such a huge selection of the Atrex shoes there that you can just have perfect. 
an entire <laughs> wardrobe of Atrex in your closet for every outfit that you have. Well, and it's nice because All right, there are wedges, there are slippers, there are clothes toed. I mean, you can use them for work or casual. There's really broad selection, which is nice. And even kind of different footbeds and arches, so you get different feelings depending on which one you put on, which I personally love. Yes, that's true. That's true, but as I said, the eight millimeters of memory foam are in every one of the shoes. So that's what makes them feel so comfortable from the start. And if you want to talk about more features and benefits on the Jillian, if you'll turn it over, Julie. Yeah. And we can look at underneath there in the front, there's the metatarsal bar. All right. You see that exactly right where you're showing it. When you bend your foot, that's going to give you some good support behind your metatarsal heads. And then if you look at the way the the heel is done that's called a horseshoe with that little flower in the middle that gives you some extra cushioning in the heel but um, again makes you feel comfortable in your shoes all day long so again if there are any questions if you can um, ask them that would be wonderful we'll be happy to answer them if you like that blue color looks amazing too is that the new teal it is. This is part of the trunk show. It is a really pretty gut color, and I've got on gray today. So even with gray or jeans or black, it's a great and kind of neutral too. pop. And white, too. And I mm -hmm. do what I do, and I buy the shoes first and then find outfits to go along with them. But you can always wear <laughs> any of these colors with neutrals. Like, like Julie just said, the gray looks wonderful with that teal. It makes your outfit pop. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on this same collection. Yes, that's a new, a a new, new style, and I hear it's selling really well. And I have forgotten the name of it. I'm sorry, the Reese. Yes, and you have the three points of, of adjustability. Of the, exactly, and you can adjust that center strap, too. So if you have a higher instep, you can move it over a little bit. If you have a lower instep and have to make the shoe tighter, you can slide that over a little bit as well to make sure that it's centered and looking really pretty on your feet. Now, the one thing we didn't talk about is both of these shoes, the Jillian and the Reese, have the padded collar along the back. This, yeah, exactly where Julie's got the camera. That is a wonderful, nice cushion detail, so you never get that rubbing against your foot. And this material that they line the shoes with always feels really good uh, on the foot, and um, it's a microfiber suede-like material. It is also treated with Aegis antimicrobial, and that helps with odors, fungus, and bacteria. So your shoes stay really, really nice and clean. While you're talking about this one, let me see if I can put it on so they can see what it looks like on the foot. Because it's so hard on all of these to tell on exactly. the wall. Like, well, is that cute on the foot or not cute? And these I sizes. Think this is a sample, right, Julie? This is actually a pr after production. This is one that okay. we stock in store in this cognac oh, okay. color. But then we have it in the samples in the blue and in the black. Okay, okay. So there you but, go. It looks really great on the foot, too. Yeah. Gives you a, a little bit more um, support in the upper area of your foot. It's also got the great back strap. So if anybody needs that strap around the heel, uh, again, it's going to give you wonderful support. And the arch is going to be supported nicely as well. And I like the stud detailing that they did on this one. It really adds a little bit of a pop but you still get a really functional kind of all day, every day walking shoe. Um, this would be really good for travel once we can, or even just around the house. This is like a slip on when we're stuck inside right now. Ha most of us have like this shop floor, concrete, tile, hardwood, having this thicker sole support and cushion between you and all of the floors in your house make a world of difference on how you feel at the end of the day. 
Absolutely. And even for work or out running errands, um, it just gives you nice cushioning and arch support. So your legs and feet never feel tired when you've been out running around all day. And I have a high end step um, that I wanted to show the adjustability here. So if you have swelling on one foot and not the other, you can get a ton of space in there. And then I already have a crazy high end step. You can see even that I've got a lot of extra room within the strap. So you've got a lot of adjustability. If you're narrow, you can really let me take my foot out so you can see how much we can tighten this down. But I mean, you can really strap this. All, yes. the, all yes. the way down for those yeah. low for end the, step. That's right. That's what makes these shoes so great for everybody. So you can see, I mean, as thin as my hand is, it holds my hand even in place. So really yes. good for narrow or wide feet. And if you have two feet that don't necessarily match each other in the shape of them, this would be a good one to go to. That's true. Very good. So next on this collection, we have the toe strap style. Okay. And that looks really great on the foot as well. I love that center snake-like strap that really um, adds some pizzazz to the way it makes your foot look. The asymmetrical line on it really looks beautiful. And that toe <laughs> ring is very, very thin. So you can hardly feel that it's there. Yeah, I have really fat, big toe, and it even has some stretch. Let's see if I can show you the stretch yep, there on it, is. it. So it fits really well around the toe. And then some stretch on this middle strap so you get a nice snug fit. And then adjustability here. And this one, I would even wear dressy, going out to lunch with friends, um, even a date night. This is like one of those sandals you can walk all day in, but then also go out at night and not feel like you're in your walking sandals. Absolutely. So later on this summer, when you're going on vacation, that would definitely be a shoe to take. <laughs> really pretty leather. And then the stone color is just your classic neutral. It goes... It looks more gray when you put it with black or gray, and it looks more tan or beige when you put it with your browns in your hair. I've got navy on, too, so you can see. So yes. it kind of just goes with whatever you put it with. It's a super neutral. And again, I, again, that same great arch support, the 8 millimeters of memory foam cushioning, the Aegis antimicrobial. Um, there is no reason not to get these shoes. So those, that's the thong, I'm sorry, the toe loop style, the braided strap, and the classic adjustability on that one. Great. And then next, Anne, do you want to go to the wedges on that cork bottom, or do you want to stick with the flats? Um, let's go to the wedges. I don't have a, one of those with me, so you just start, and we'll talk about it. I'm going to flip through the pages, so I've got the correct names. Oh, um. Yeah, that one, the Grace, it's brand new for this year. I think it is so pretty. And I'm a person who, before I came to Atrex, never wore a heel or a wedge because I had uh, pain in the forefoot area or something called metatarsalgia. Now, when this particular wedge height came out, gosh, it's got to be six years ago or so, and they keep changing the uppers on it, I was so happy because I could actually wear something that gave me a little bit of height, yet I could work all day in it because my arch was supported properly so I didn't have that pain in the forefoot or the ball of the foot area. And again, this has the memory foam cushioning. It's got some beautiful details on it. The braiding is nice. And the, both of the straps are adjustable. So the buckle is more of a faux buckle, and you've got that hook and loop closure there, uh, as well as that padded collar once again. So there's nothing that's going to irritate your foot from the moment that you put it on, as long as you don't have it on too tight, of course. 
and this is obviously too small for me, but you can at least see kind of what it looks like. This is our shoe, like you were talking about, that our ladies that say, oh, I can't wear wedges. I wish I could wear a heel. I used to love to wear heels. They can wear this one. And um, it, another one of our customers, she's she works in the wine industry, and she's on her feet all day, but has to be dressed up to go visit different restaurants and do wine tastings. She has this bottom in several different styles because she knows she can walk her 10,000, 20,000 steps a day in a heel and still feel good. I've always thought about, you know, they do those um, running events, like that you run in heels to raise money for different charities. Right. <laughs> there is right. only one heel I would consider running in, and it is this one from Atrex. So Absolutely. We, we stock the stone, and then the white and the black are part of the trunk show that's going on right now. So you can see a really pretty white with the silver buckles or the black with the brushed nickel. And then next we go to the Naya. The Naya has been around for a long time. It's got a beautiful asymmetrical strap on it. Um, the details, again, are really nice on this. They have more of a bronzy button for the brown tone and then the pewter button on the black. Again, the same wedge height. They just feel great underfoot. This is a tiny one, but I'm going to squeeze my foot into it just so you can see what the angled strap looks like on because it is really flattering. So ignore that my toes are hanging off the end. <laughs> we won't make you walk in it so e yes go. even with this being much too short for me this angled strap is really flattering on wide or bigger feet it's just holds you in exactly the right spots um in place and then this little split strap works really well if you have a bunion because it kind of widens out across it instead of being a thin strap that sometimes hits right and sometimes doesn't that's right so that's a good go-to wedge from Atrex. Next, we're going to go to the Gilly tie. Oh, yeah, I love this shoe, too. As you can tell, everybody, all the Atrex shoes are my favorite. That one is called the Giselle. <laughs> and I like the way this one has a little more coverage. So if you're not that happy with the way your feet look, but you still want to wear a sandal. This gives you plenty of coverage and you're still wearing a sandal. Great support on this too, because of the way that it laces up. Yeah, you can really, sorry, I'm trying to hold the phone and put on the brown at the same time. So this is like a kind of one shoe fits all. We've gotten a ton of orders on this one. I turned around so everybody's white set up. There you go. So if you have a wide foot or a high instep, even with these laces widened out, it doesn't look like Cinderella's stepsisters trying to squeeze on a shoe. It looks really pretty, whether you've got it tightened all the way down or loosened all the way up. It just is such a good fit. And I love this kind of cognac color. This one we're limited on stock in, but we do have a few sizes left. And then the other color is the stone, which is that really great kind of neutral, goes with anything. And then the black. This shoe is one that I always say, don't judge the way it looks on the shelf. It just does not look very pretty on the shelf, but it looks so pretty on the foot. And you can even go like cocktail dressy with this because of the way that it has that wedge, really holds the foot nicely. Yes, I was going to suggest that. It looks wonderful with a dress or pants or even, you know, um, um, short, shorter pants, cropped pants that are so um, happening this spring. And the one thing you didn't show on there, Julie, is that it has the um, hook and loop closure on the back. Oh, so yes. once, once you lace it up, you can just put it on and off with that. And you don't have to worry about lacing it up again. Yeah, that is a really nice feature for sure. But this is just such a cute shoe on. It goes with a variety of styles and looks. The other thing that Atrex does really well in all of these wedges, let me grab one that's open on the side so you can see. 
Um, here we go. So this arch in here really kind of lifts you up and sits you back. So whereas normally on wedges, you have all this forefoot pressure, the way that it lifts you up, you have heel pressure. So your body stays in alignment, even though you're up on a wedge. That's that right. makes a world of difference. It really does because it takes that pressure off the forefoot. There's nothing worse than um, having shoes that hurt your feet because it shows on your face. When your feet hurt, it shows on your face. And there's, uh, like I said, nothing worse than that. So your feet are always happy with Atrix, so you can always have a smile on your face. I love that. Now, this one is an oldie but goodie. Um, it's been around for a couple of seasons. I love the sweetheart throat on this one. It is flattering to any foot. It really looks pretty on. They've got some nice little tiny bits of color as far as how the shoe is trimmed, except for oh, that that's one. That's too big for me. On. Hold on a minute. Okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can keep going. Sorry, I'll find well, one. Well, one of a bit there it is. the taupe one. That's the one that I own. The taupe one has that tiny little bit of turquoise trim on it that just looks pretty and makes it pop and and makes you smile when you put it on. But as you can see there, what I meant about the sweetheart throat was that V coming up like that, and it's very flattering on any foot. And again, it's the same wedge height as the other shoes that we have been showing you. Diane just joined us, and she said that this is her favorite shoe from Atrex. Oh, nice. Thanks, Diane. So my favorite part on this one is, like Anne was saying, the sweetheart throat. If you have a bunion, this sweetheart will open up where it needs to. So bunion and wide feet fit really well because you've got the openness here. But then if you have a narrow or forefoot or shallower forefoot like I do, it sits down close to you. So it, it just really is a nice fitting heel. And you can wear it um, in the 90 degree weather or you can wear it when it's freezing outside and throw it on with some tights. It's just a really versatile shoe. We sell it a lot for people who are on their feet all day, standing and have to be dressy. But we also sell it just as a Sunday shoe or going out to dinner, right. dinner at home <laughs> kind of shoe. Yep. Don't forget, you can still get dressed up now. You know, make a nice meal at home, get dressed up and have date night at home. Yeah, that's what we did last night. We sent my kids to my mom's house because we all live next near each other. So she... We're, we've been exposed to each other anyways and um, ordered some takeout and lit some candles and pretended we go. were out at a restaurant instead of our dining room. Yep. Yep. And I'm sure you wore some nice shoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I know. It's like we get put on a little bit of makeup. <laughs> right. Exactly. But our husbands are worth it, even though we all want to stay in pajamas. That's right. All That's right. And right. then let's go to the higher bottom. Yes, this is a brand new shoe uh, for this spring, and it is called the Summer. Uh, wovens are always a great sign of summer, and this shoe is so pretty on. Is this a special for the trunk show, Julie, or can you it show is. this one? Yeah, this is a trunk show shoe. Okay. Well, I have it here as well, and even though it looks higher, take into consideration how much of the front is raised as well. So it's basically the same wedge height if you take away the front part of the platform. It's basically the same wedge height as the other three styles that we just showed you. The, um, the Mia, the Nayat, and the Giselle. So again, um, some really pretty colors. She's got the black and the, let's see what that color's called. It's called Bone. I've been calling it Butter because it just is like that perfect kind of beigey burnished leather. Okay, good. And what's nice about it, um, we can open it up. Well, we can kind of show you if we flip it out. It's got that nice microfiber material on the inside. So you're not going to feel any of the wovens cutting into your foot. That's a nice lined shoe, both in the front 
in the front that uh, is close to your toes, as well as the part that covers your instep. And again, that feels wonderful underfoot. Now this one is an actual buckle and you do have to undo it, but it's got some elastic there to help you uh, with a little bit of stretch. It also has a little bit of stretch on the inside. So when you walk, it's not going to pull on your foot as well as where your instep is. There is a little bit of, of elastic there. And it's almost got an espadrille look to it with that uh, espadrille woven around the whole base of the shoe. This is a really pretty one. And I like that the four foot strap is wider. So it's really gonna hit well. Sometimes when they are skinny straps, they hit kind of funny on the yes, ball of the could, foot. Yeah, and they can cut in, but this one is definitely wide enough where it's not going to cut in any area for you. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one on this one on this collection. Oh yes. Is okay. the most popular. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. I um the shoe has been out for a year now, but the two new colors, the leopard and the gold there on the left in your uh, photos are... And we actually have this snake sampled too, but it is in what we're calling the sisterhood of the traveling shoes. We're sending some of the trunk shoes out and around town to different customers' porches so okay. that you can look at them. So um, if you are a diehard Atrex fan and go, I know they're a 37, but I just want to see them and try them on in my house. We can definitely add you to the list of our of our sisterhood of the traveling shoes. All right, I'm seeing a question here from Diane. Is there something that you should treat the espadrille with to keep it clean? I would great suggest, question. Yep, I would suggest some sort of spray like a Scotch Guard, um, but don't get it on the inside of the shoe because that is treated with the antimicrobial. So um, that would definitely keep it clean as far as where it is woven. But that Can you an, use some light question. soap and water? Because it feels like a roping material. It is. It is. It's, it's kind of a jute. Um, it's, yep, it says um, jute wrapped three inch wedge. So um, you probably could, but, you know, just pat it dry. Don't soak it wet or anything. And I would, I would probably use a very light or soft washcloth because you don't want this jute um, getting frayed. So yeah. your best bet is to probably protect it with some kind of uh, fabric protector, like I said, Scotch Guard or something like that. Definitely spray it outside. And we have some spray that works for leather as well. Okay. So you could spray it and it would go ahead and just add an extra layer to the leather as well without any problems. Yep. And you're welcome, Diane. Um, that was a great question. Um, for those of us that aren't used to something this high, last year when I got my black and toque, I put them on at first and I thought, wow, I'm really tall. I'm really high. It just takes a <laughs> little bit. Just takes a little bit to get used to this much uh, platform and wedge height. And of course, for those of you that already wear them, it should be a piece of cake. But like I said last year, when I first tried it on, it was woo, a little bit high, but just wear them <laughs> around the house a little bit and get used to it. And then you'll be fine once you get outside. In fact, on this particular shoe last year, um, we had a sales meeting in New Jersey where Atrex's home office is and afterwards we went in the city and I must have walked 25 blocks in this shoe. And I was still smiling at the end when we got the Uber to get back to New Jersey. So awesome. again. And I bet yeah. you felt sassy walking around the city in these cute wedges. I did, I really did. It's really nice to be able to get that height without feeling it. So many of our ladies, I mean, even our 80 year old customers want to have something that's cute and dressy, but that you can actually walk in. And none of us want shoes that 
we're aching and looking for a chair to sit down. We want shoes that we can go to an event and be fully dressed up and look cute, but feel good too, so that we can stay into the night and enjoy time with our friends and family. That's right. That's right. I love the adjustability. The snake is really pretty on this one. If you want I, a, a picture, do you have a I snake? Have, I have a picture. I'm going to try to show it to you in the catalog, but I can't figure out how to reverse my camera. So am I on it? No, I am not. There we go. Uh, there it is. There you go, people. I'm sorry. It's kind of sideways, but um, it is gorgeous on the foot. The it snake. is really cute. The and that one we really actually, nice. and we are not necessarily making like fill in orders right now while the storefront is closed, but that one I we understand. ordered. We ordered. <laughs> okay. I was like, you know what? This shoe is not going to be in stock very long. It is so cute. So we have some of those coming in the store on our next order. So um, those should be here any day now. So you can look for actually having stock in the snake if you want the snake. I loved it because it'll go black or white. Um, it's fully neutral. They're showing animal skins are only getting bigger. Are you seeing yeah. any other trends in the market right now? Um, mostly the mostly the snake and like you said, you know, any type of animal. And then um, as you have the gold in your hand, there's a lot of metallics coming back. Although a metallic, I don't think, never dies because there are women out there that just love it as a neutral color. And it does always dress it up a little bit. I mean, a little pop of shimmer in your outfit really takes this shoe to a little bit dressier level than like the black is in this suede. And I definitely think this looks significantly more casual than this. It does. It does. You're so right. this is like a beach kind of everyday shoe. If you're wanting more office or event shoe, I would definitely go with the gold. Or the snake. <laughs> for the snake. I know I'm so excited about those snake shoes. I hope that maybe, in fact, they may even be coming today. We ordered them a few days ago. Well, okay. um, New Jersey is, our home office is working with a very limited staff, but they will get your orders out just as soon as they possibly can. So what is lead time on orders right now? I actually had another customer ask, um, ask well, that. Well, we usually like to get things out within 48 hours, but I would think with the safety precautions that they're taking at Atrex, uh -huh. let's say, you know, 72 to 96 hours before they're out the door, because like I said, we're working with a limited staff. They're asking everybody to keep their social distancing. So yeah. it takes a little bit longer and we appreciate everyone's patience. We're just glad you're still getting shoes out. I mean, that's, that's right. None of us are necessarily going to be wearing them right now, but you can go ahead and get your spring wardrobe planned, know what you're looking for, and have some a happy that you know is on its way to you. There's nothing like the anticipation of getting something. We're doing free porch delivery right now for locals That's... or free shipping. So, um in fact, I've got two by the door that are going to be dropped on the porches today. So oh, that's great. That's yeah. great. So everybody can have their own fashion shows at home. Exactly. When you're, when you're trying on your shoes, definitely snap a photo and send yeah. it to Julie so she can post it. Yes. Yes. I mean, oh, there's nothing that makes us happier than a good pair of new shoes. And that's it's right. On the way, it's just as good. So, and all like right. We and, said, like, and like we said, you can still have date night at home and wear those shoes. Yes, for sure. Okay. All right. And then the next bottom is kind of the water resistant wedge okay. bottom with the microfiber top. So let's talk about these two. All right. So as Julie said, they are water resistant. So this is great for all the rainy weather that we've had here in the Atlanta area. I'm sure you've had it there in Huntsville as well. You don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain in these shoes. They do have some water resistance. The wedge, again, is the same height as the, uh, not the super high wedges that we just showed you, but the uh, Naya and the Giselle. And it's a cork-like material, but again, um, water resistant. They still have the wonderful Atrex arch support. The memory foam cushioning, which is underneath the lining there. And your photos are a little blurry right now, Julie. I don't know what's going on, but... Huh, let me turn off my... Better. 
clearer. But you can there? get the idea. They're much better. Thank you. Much Thank better. Thank you for telling so, me. Yes. So you have the um, two straps, again, with the hook and loop closures on that particular shoe. So easy on, easy off. And if you'll turn it to the inside of the shoe so everybody can see how that arch is supported, there it is once again. And this one looks like it has the padded collar as well. Let me flip my catalog over to those. And these are super cheap. These are like $89.95. I've ordered yep. several of them. Um, another one of the shoes that's out right now in the traveling shoes is the bronze kind of pinky rose version of this. Okay. And we've ordered several pairs just this week from for different customers wanting something that's a neutral gold, but then loving this kind of cork look to the wet side. I think you were off a little bit on the two strap shoe, Julie. I think that one is 99. Okay. Um, and and it's this the one? other, yeah, the Cassidy, that's the 89. Or actually, that one might be even a little bit less. Or wait a minute. I, I'm sorry. Let me put my glasses on. Um, but the no, price... The pricing on this collection, both are under a hundred. Yeah, there we go. And so, so that's have been a really good sell selling point. Even if you're picking out, you know, one of these, so maybe a little bit more than that, right. and you're wanting a second pair that's just something fun that can handle all of this rain, then that's it's going right. here as a second pair for under a hundred that you still get the look and the support is really nice. Yes. There you go. All right. And then next we go to our dressy flat collection. Oh, great. Okay. So this has a little bit more aggressive arch support in it. It takes a little bit getting used to, but that shoe that Julie is showing you right now has been around for a few seasons. Atrex keeps adding colors to it. What's really great about it is the double post that she is showing there. Um, both on the inside and outside of the ankle, and then the post that's more of the midfoot that holds your foot in. That makes that shoe really stay on nicely. It looks beautiful on the foot. Look at all those the beading work on there. It's very dressy. Or you can wear it with just a pair of skinny jeans and feel great, or even later on when the rain stops and it gets warm, uh, wear it with shorts. And this has an adjustability through the middle, too. So this is, you can slide this strap back and forth to make good. sure that you get good alignment in the middle, which is really nice, too. And then it's partner shoe is the one that does not go between the toe, and it's in the lighter gold. But this has the hook and loop closure, both in the front and um, around the ankle, as well as the beautiful beadwork on the back of the shoe. So this is a bow buckle through here. And this is one piece that kind of loops through. So you get a really good fit around the ankle and across the top of the foot. This one we sell a lot of for weddings, like outdoor weddings, um, that you want something a little bit dressier and that looks stainy, but you have plenty of arch support and can wear it for the pictures in the morning all the way through the reception into the evening. That's right. You can dance all night in this particular shoe. And I was going to make that suggestion for those of you that don't like the wedge or it's just a little bit too much for you. Flats can be dressy as well. And both of those would look beautiful with a dress. They really would. Okay. And then we're going into our more casual collection. Okay, so this footbed is absolutely wonderful. It's, uh, this collection is priced under $100. I have uh, a shoe that was similar to this one that I wore when Atrex took their technology and orthotic reps to Israel a few years ago where we learned all about the tech team that builds all the product in Israel. And we got to go to some Wonderful um, historic sites, and I wore that particular footbed all around Israel, and I never complained once. 
really nice and cushiony. The, the memory foam cushion is in there. The arch support is in there. The Aegis antimicrobial, of course, is treated. So the shoes uh, stay odor and fungus and bacteria free. This, again, has the hook and loop closure, the padded collar, and what a great color that is. Yeah, this is your walking sandal. So this one, you could wear it a little bit dressy, but it's definitely more of like an all day, every day kind of shoe. You've got the adjustability here, adjustability here, and then that kind of rubber outsole. So it has a really good um, grip to it, which it is does. really important too. Now, is this a leather upper or are these non-leather? So these, these are, these are non-leather, but they really look good. They do. They're really pretty soft materials. And I love the little patent pop. So you get a little bit of design to it. Yep. The navy's really pretty as well. So we stock the silver um, and the navy. We actually stock both of these. So these are in stock now. And what a great navy color that is. It's so hard to find a good true navy. And this one's got good navy and then the lighter color to make it pop with the metallic uh, a little Button. bit of metallic that really makes it pop. Yeah, that is a beautiful one. This this bottom, I think the shoe that you're probably talking about walking in is real. <clears throat> and is this one, is that it? It was very similar, similar to that one, yeah. It was a predecessor. Yeah, this one we've had the last two years and it has sold out both years because it's of this adjustability. It just holds on the foot so nicely, and but it it's really flattering too. too. Yes, that asymmetrical strap, once again, really is flattering on the foot. All three straps have the hook and loop closure. So again, you can strap that on if you've got a wider foot or if you've got a narrower foot or the high instep or the low instep, you can really make that shoe work for you. Fabulous arches. Okay, and then we go into the water collection and the flats. And there you go. The cork wrap. Oh, and this tortoise-looking uh, material there on everybody's right is really pretty. And it's it got is. the cork footbed, and that's super comfortable, too. And this, you just go in and out of the back. So if you're a flip-flop girl, this could not be easier to get on and off and then just hook it. So if you're doing a lot of walking or have kids, um, it makes a world of difference to have that back strap. And there it is on. It just holds so nicely, but it's still super feminine because of this nice thin layer of the tortoise in the middle. Yep. And again, it's almost a neutral. It will go with anything. Yeah, because it kind of has that black and the brown flex in it. And then it this does. kind of light beige. And then they took the this sole, if I'm correct, and wrapped it in the cork. So you get a really different look, but really soft memory foam arch support in these. Very much so, yep. That gives a really cute, trendy look with the cork sole. And you can't even see the rubber with it when you put them on. Beautiful right. style. And then in the water resistant styles, we have the cork, which has been on fire. I think I'm down to one pair of these in store right now. Uh oh. Okay. I know. <laughs> well, you can probably order more of those if people want them. I'm sure you can uh, yes, special order sure. those. So that one is just easy on and off. It's got the um, hook and loop closure. So if you need to make it tighter or looser, really easy. Slip it on and you're out the door. The other one has the back strap and, of course, the front closure. So you can loosen that if you have a wider foot in the front, but really anchor it on around your ankle so you feel nice and secure. And I love this water-resistant sole from them. It's a way to get a trend but not worry about ruining your shoes on all these rainy days that's right so a day like today i don't know about there but it's raining here today pouring so. we have waterfalls near our house because we live near the mountain and i mean they were roaring it sounded like an engine was on when you opened up the door they're beautiful but it's wow i'm glad it's on the other side of the street and not right next to my house <laughs> yeah that would keep you awake <laughs> 
softener, but beautiful cork material. This cork has been selling like crazy. It's very on trend and super neutral. That's good. Okay. And then the true pool beach flip. Oh, yeah. This one's pretty. It has all of this really beautiful beading on it. This is a good kind of dress up, give you a little bit of sparkle shoe, um, but then wear it with a cover up to the pool or the beach this summer. Um, and I also use this bottom and the shoes for yard work, like running the trash out, running to get the mail, just slip on and go kind of shoe, not mowing the lawn yard work, but just, you know, right. wandering around the yard with my kids in the rain. And then I know I can spray them off if I get in the mud a little bit. So I'm that's, not too worried about them. That's right. But yet it's the beadwork on that is so pretty that it really looks dressy. It does. Let me see if I can flip it on so you can see what it looks like. Really cute. And really high arch. And this one even has that metatarsal arch. So that helps with that forefoot pressure too. They feel wonderful on. Oh, that's good. Okay. And then we go to this style. And this is okay. a little bit different construction. So this is um, Atrex's take on a cork footbed like Birkenstock. This is my favorite footbed. I have every style that we make in this particular footbed. Um, it is amazing, absolutely amazing on, I have a story to tell if everybody's got a minute. The yeah. first year we had this out, I was doing a health fair for somebody down in Mobile, Alabama and standing on a concrete floor all day long. And I thought, oh, my legs are really going to ache tonight. And they didn't. They didn't. I was absolutely amazed because I stood for eight hours, talked to people about the benefits of the Atrex orthotics and the Atrex footbed, and I never felt better with standing on concrete all day long, so I did not have those achy legs that evening. I love that. People frequently don't realize, too, that have back or knee or hip problems most of those stem from your feet. It's like if the foundation of your house is off, the whole thing is off. So frequently getting an arch support and probably everybody being at home, those of you that aren't wearing support around the house are really going to start feeling it and kind of going, why is it my body feeling is aligned and I'm getting this kind of backache, a lot of knee pain, hip pain. If you get some good shoes with arch support, it makes a world of difference. Yes, it's all about proper body alignment. So if you wear your Atrex shoes or your Atrex orthotics in shoes that do not have the arch support, um, putting, putting the Atrex orthotic in there is going to put you in proper body alignment. Perfect. So next, I'm going to do a quick pass by of this little sandal too. This is the other one on the other. Uh, we the um, sole that we went over a few minutes ago with all the straps. But yes, I'll try that one. I think it's called the Everyday Footbed, if yes. I'm not mistaken, and that has been a great seller for us, especially in that color. You can dress that shoe up or dress it down. It looks great with denim. It looks great with a skirt. It looks great going out in the evening, or just running around running errands. It's really a cute shoe. And again, comfortable. Such great sparkle. So before we do the slippers, let's go ahead and talk about the orthotics and how they work in different shoes. Okay, so Julie's got some shoes lined up behind there with the Atrex orthotics. So we make them in many different ways, but they carry the best seller, the number one best seller called the L400 series. This one has copper fibers woven into the fabric on the top cover, and copper is a proven antimicrobial that helps with odors, fungus, and bacteria. So you would take this orthotic and um, take out the footbed that comes in the shoe that you want to wear it in. So this shoe is an Oboes. So this is, if you got our email, this is the one that Holly and I both use for yard work, true yard work, not the slip on and go kind of yard work. 
fully waterproof. It's actually meant for hiking. So that's also really great. You get outside right now, enjoy nature, go hiking on one of our many trails. Um, it has all of the support and all of the traction that you need for hiking um, on rough terrain and it's going to protect your foot but then it's a lot lighter weight than most at, um, hiking shoes are and it has some give to it so this shoe doesn't take a ton of breaking in the way that traditionally um, hiking shoes do hiking shoes in my opinion take years to break in this one I can put on and go from the get-go so perfect. if you need the arch support you pick out or I can help help you pick out which one is best for you. And then you just pull out the what's foot in there. that came in there. And you put in the Atrix Orthotic. And there you go. So now we're going to make that oboe shoe feel like an Atrix because your arch is going to be supported in the proper place. And what a perfect time once the sun comes back out to go for a wonderful hike with your husband or your boyfriend and your kids. Um, what a great family time. We all have to get our exercise one way or another, and a hike is the perfect way to do that. And you in Huntsville have some really close trails. And we actually have the oboes and the men's and the Atrex orthotics in the men's as well. So this would be a way to love on your husband while both of you are stuck at home. Um, for to grab him a pair of the oboes hiking shoes and orthotics too so that you guys can both have some a little bit of a happy and get outside and enjoy nature for your mental health right and then he can do some yard work even better i know i saw the funniest <laughs> thing it said um instead of march madness we're going to be having mulch madness <laughs> there you go i loved that yeah that's very cute so here I have the 20. All right. So the 20, the 420 would be for people that have feet or tend to over pronate. As you can see, Julie, if you can hold up an OO next to it, we can show yes. people the difference. Hold the two together and Let's show see us. see if I can balance this. Maybe I might oh, have to. Phone. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. <laughs> here we go. Okay, so the one on the right is the neutral, and that is for people with medium arches. And the one on the left is the posted, or the 20, and that is for people with flat feet, or they tend to overpronate or roll inward. So um, Julie can help you decide which one is right for your feet. The best way that if you don't want to go in the store, you could probably take a photograph of your foot Maybe you need your child or your husband to take a photograph of your bare foot standing on the ground, show the, her the medial or the arch view of your foot, and she can get an idea of what your arch is to uh, get you the proper orthotic for your foot type. And, and then, do you have orthotics there? I Would just you... have a neutral one. I could run downstairs and show more, but um... can you walk through that one real fast? I've got a delivery at the door. I'll be right back. If you'll finish, oh, walk absolutely. through that real fast. Okay. I'll be right oh, back. Absolutely. Oh, okay. So if we take a look at how the orthotic is made, you see the arch support. You might think that it's a little bit too far back. And that is the Atrex philosophy. If we support your arch in the proper place, then your heel goes into the neutral position. Once your heel is in neutral, ankles, knees, hips, and lower back all get into proper body alignment. So at first, like I said, you might feel your arches being supported a little bit too far back, but that is truly the proper place to support that arch. And that is usually right underneath the ankle bone. You will feel that. But it's the same place that we support the arch on the Atrex shoes. So we can show you one and the other. Of course, they're different feet. Um, but you can see how they both will support your arch properly. And as I said, it has the copper fibers woven in, which helps with odors, fungus, and bacteria. The outside or the part that touches the inside of your shoe is polyurethane, and that is going to last for a good long time. The center layer is called, excuse me for I'm a back. second. Oh, good. The center layer is called ProShox, and that helps with um, 
shock attenuation so it absorbs shock this is a great all-around orthotic for your running shoes for your walking shoes for your shoes that have a removable insole that you might have to wear to work all day long and and you can't wear atrex every single day you've got a nice wardrobe of shoes but right now when we all are dying to get some physical activity in grab that pair of ons as julie is showing you take out what comes in the shoe and put in the atrex orthotic now that particular one has a metatarsal pad so that's for higher arches or people with forefoot pressure so if the ball of your foot hurts then um, you might want that metatarsal pad but please don't go out and walk 10 miles in it the first day you wear it because it does take a little bit of getting used to but this is the perfect time for all of us to really up those steps and get lots of exercise and get ourselves back into shape or stay in shape by getting outside and getting that exercise that we all need and it will help us with our cabin fever now this is another great little casual shoe that does have a removable insole and what a cute uh, leopard print on that one so once again you take out what comes in the shoe you put in the atrix orthotic and there you are off to the grocery store to stock up on anything that you might need to keep you and your family healthy. Yeah, this is a great little slip on. I love this style, super lightweight and easy on, easy off. And if you are looking for a house slipper, this is a good option just to slip on and keep your Atrex orthotic in. And then when you go on a run, you just pull it out and put it in your athletic shoe. So some people buy multiple pairs, but don't think, oh, well, that will make that one shoe work. This makes it so that you have tennis shoes that suddenly have that arch support. You have yard shoes that suddenly have that arch support. So if you're a big Atrex fan, which if you've worn them, you are a big Atrex fan. That's right. Um, then you, it turns all of your shoes into feeling like an Atrex. That's right. So, this is a great option for your slippers. And then if you like open toe, Atrex actually has slippers. So let's show you those. Okay. And I'm wearing mine right now. So uh, my feet feel let's good. Let's see. Oh, I, I, I'm not <laughs> going to show you no because I have funky <laughs> socks on. But I have the black ones. And these have, um, again, hook, hook and loop closure. So if your feet are cold and you're wearing them with socks, you can loosen them up a little bit. And if you're wearing them barefoot, then you can tighten them up. But again, um, super comfortable. Look at the great leopard print. And of course, the Atrex arch is built into our slippers as well. So if you have plantar fasciitis, if you have any kind of foot issues, you can have a wardrobe of Atrex shoes or put the Atrex orthotic in the shoes that aren't Atrex and you will always have the proper support to help you get over any kind of foot issue that you might have.